In this video, we shall cover armature reaction with various types of load. We shall also cover effects of armature reaction. But before that, let us see the relation of induced EMF and flux. As per Faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction, EMF is equal to minus N d phi by dt. At point A, flux is maximum, but d phi by dt is equal to zero. Hence, induced EMF is zero. At point B, flux is zero, but d phi by dt is maximum. Hence, EMF is maximum. Moreover, at point B, d phi by dt is negative. Minus sign in the law makes the EMF positive. A concept is further explained with the help of actual generator. Poles are rotating anti-clockwise. With respect to poles, conductors are rotating clockwise. Applying Fleming right hand rule, direction of EMF in the top conductor is outside and in the bottom conductor is inside. In the case shown, maximum flux is linking the coil, but d phi by dt is zero, hence EMF is zero. Now let us rotate the pole by 90 degree anti-clockwise. Flux linking the coil is zero, but d phi by dt is maximum. Hence induced EMF is maximum. Thus we see that EMF lacks flux by 90 degree. Effect of armature flux on the main flux is called armature reaction. When the load is not connected to the generator, load current is zero, armature flux is not produced. Since there is no effect of armature flux on the main flux, there is no armature reaction. Let us see what happens when the resistive load is connected to the generator. Voltage and current are in phase. Direction of current is same as that of the EMF. Applying right hand thumb rule, armature flux is as shown. Flux increases on the one side and decreases on the other side of the conductor. Though there is not much change in the average flux, but it is distorted. There is slight decrease in the average flux. Firstly, increase in flux on one side is less than that on the other side due to saturation. Secondly, resultant flux is a phasor sum of mean flux and the nature flux. Resultant flux is less than that of the mean flux. Since in the case of resistive load, there is increase in flux on one side and decrease in the flux on the other side of coil, effect of armature reaction is cross magnetizing. Let us see the effect of connecting an inductive load to the generator. Since current lacks voltage by 90 degree, poles are required to be advanced by 90 degree to get maximum current in the R phase. Armature flux opposes the main flux. Hence, effect of armature reaction is demagnetizing in case of inductive load. Let us see the effect of connecting the capacitive load to the generator. Since current least voltage by 90 degree, poles are required to be rotated back by 90 degree to get maximum current in the R phase. Armature flux aids the main flux. Hence, effect of armature reaction is magnetizing in the case of capacitive load. Mostly load is a combination of resistive and inductive load, e.g. induction motor load. To get maximum current in the conductor, poles are required to be advanced by high degree. Armature flux is split into two components. One component is cross magnetizing and the other is demagnetizing. There is decrease in the terminal voltage with increase in load.
and the load changes from inductive to resistive to capacitive, terminal voltage increases. Let us draw a phasor diagram. Phasor of EMF and terminal voltage are drawn perpendicular to the main flux and the resultant flux respectively. The phasor difference between EMF and V is denoted by IXAR. XAR takes care of voltage drop due to armature flux. XAR is called reactance due to armature reaction. Equivalent circuit of silicon generator is done. Since leakage reactions and internal resistance of stator winding are very small, these are neglected. EMF is represented by E, voltage by V, and voltage drop is represented by IXAR. There are various effects of armature reaction. In case of resistive and inductive load, terminal voltage decreases. This may affect appliances. In case of capacitive load, voltage increases. This may affect insulation. Iron loss increases in case of resistive load. In case of resistive load, flux is distorted, resulting in distortion of terminal voltage. A major reaction can be reduced by increasing air gap. But main flux also reduces. Main flux is required to be increased to obtain the required EMF. Main flux can be increased by either increasing field current or number of turns in the rotor. In either case, size of rotor increases, resulting in increase in the size of the generator. We have seen that terminal voltage changes with type of load and amount of load. Automotive voltage regulator is used to maintain the terminal voltage. 